A still lake, docked boats, vacant tents, and this week merit badges will go unsigned. John Gailey of the Utah National Parks Council said that scouts will not attend Camp Maple Dell this week because the swine flu infected a staff member. In discussing with the health organization, we didn't want a lot of scouts to come up, interact with our staff, and then spread back out. With 688 confirmed cases of the swine flu, escorting and high-fiving, usually a common sight, especially for youth camps, are prohibited with the new no-touch policy. BYU spokeswoman Carrie Jenkins hopes that the policy will help prevent the spread of the disease. We are asking the participants to have minimal contact whenever possible. Lucky for EFY campers, officials have an exception to the no-touch policy for games and dances. However, they ask that participants use hand sanitizer and wash their hands frequently to stop the spread of swine flu. Utah County Health officials recommend frequent and thorough hand washing, washing underneath the nail beds, around pieces of jewelry, and lathering up the soap really well. They recommend washing for at least 20 seconds, which is about the time it takes to sing the ABCs. EFY, along with other summer camps across Utah, also ask participants to stay home if they feel sick. Utah County Health Department Public Information Officer Lance Madigan recommends... If you're sick, stay home. That doesn't mean if you're sick, don't go to Boy Scout camp, instead go to the mall. And although participants may miss out, camps like EFY and Maple Dell welcome participants to attend another camp if swine flu spoils their plans. Angela Santos, Daily News. Trouble.